The year was 2016 and I was sitting in my surgeon's office. The tumors are back, he said. I was in disbelief because I had had two surgeries already to remove these tumors over the course of my life. I nodded, processed it a bit, and then said, but why does this keep happening? His response? environmental factors. As I walked out of his office, I started to cry. I just couldn't believe what was happening to me, that this was happening again. And then I also started to wonder, what the heck are environmental factors? When I got home, I instantly got on the computer and decided to do some research. And that's when I learned that environmental factors is referring to the ingredients that are in our products that we put on our skin and the ingredients that are in the food that we eat. I went down this whole rabbit hole only to soon learn that the very products that I was using on my skin and my body to keep me looking young and fresh and sexy actually might be making me sick. Fortunately, it was right around that same time that a new shop opened up at the bottom of my building. The shop was called Caudalie, and I'd never heard of this brand before, but apparently it was a French skincare brand, and they made clean products that didn't have the ingredients that were going to give me cancer. So I went into the boutique, I asked a whole lot of questions, and I said, okay, well, let's start out with the facial. The next day, people were raving about my skin, just how beautiful it looked, how glowing I looked, etc., etc. Wow, I thought, you know, I've always had relatively good skin, my skin has always been relatively healthy, and I have never received compliments like this before. So the next day, I went back into Caudalie and I said, what was everything that you used on my face? I will take it. Now that was in 2016 and here we are in 2024 and I am still using Caudalie's products. And so today, I am going to give you a review of every single Caudalie product that I have ever tried. I'll tell you what has worked on my skin, what has not worked on my skin, and what I plan to be trying next. Hello. For those who do not know me, my name is Adrielle. I'm an American who lives in Paris. Let's get into it. Now, first and foremost, before I just completely jump into it, I just want to give you a little bit of a history about Caudalie. I'll keep it really quick because if you're here, you probably have heard a little bit of Caudalie. Caudalie is a French skincare brand, and it's actually considered a French pharmacy brand. And so as a result, a lot of French women will kind of talk down a little bit, a bit about French pharmacy brands, but when it all comes down to it, Everyone is still buying these brands because they do make really nice products. Caudalie's products are known for being very clean. Their products are actually very grounded in like using a lot of grape products. So that's why they, they use the play on the word vino. Vino is, you know, French for grape. And so they really kind of are very focused on creating this really clean product formulations, non-irritating, gentle, and creating products that work for a lot of different skincare types. Additionally, one of the great things is that in recent years, they've really started to expand their product offerings, and they're also offering a lot more products that I would say are geared towards you know, older women and really kind of creating formulations that are really kind of targeted. If, for example, you want you know, retinol, but you don't want to use retinol, they make a lot of alternatives, for, particularly for people who have you know, sensitive skin. You know, even if you're kind of aging, you want products that aren't going to irritate it. So they just have really beautiful product formulations and so it's a really great brand that you can kind of rely on consistently that it uses nice clean ingredients and not a whole bunch of fluff or filler or things that frankly just aren't going to be good for you. So let's start with Caudalie's cleansers. These cleansers are, continue to be the absolute base of my skincare routine and I 100% love them. So first and foremost, we'll start with their Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I've used that for many, many years. What I really love about it is that it cleans the skin but it doesn't leave the skin feeling tight and dry afterwards. If you'll notice, a lot of cleansers, particularly foaming cleansers, if you ever use them, after you're done washing your face, your face feels really tight. Well, that's not a good thing. That actually means that the product has completely stripped all of the oils out of your skin. What I love about this cleanser is that it does not do that. It doesn't strip the oils out of your skin. It doesn't make your skin feel super tight after you use it. Instead, it cleans 
your skin, but without stripping it. And that's exactly one of the things that I wanna look for in a cleanser. I actually tend to use this cleanser at night because I think it is a great cleanser if you have oily skin or combination oily skin like I do. However, if you have drier skin or normal skin, the cleanser probably isn't right for you because it may just be too much for your skin. The next thing that I wanna talk about is their makeup removing oil. So I actually use the makeup removing oil first at night and then I generally follow with a second cleanse. I really love this makeup removing oil because it gets everything, all of the makeup, the eye stuff, everything completely off of your face. It is really also great for things that claim that they're, you know, waterproof and whatnot. This, this oil cleanser will get them off. One of the things I think that is really nice about it is I just really rub it into my face really, really well at night, really making sure I kind of get everything. I rinse with some water really quickly to kind of get it off and then I immediately follow it with a second cleanser, whether that be a foaming cleanser or another Caudalie cleanser, to really then kind of finish off the process. And that gets your skin super clean, but then also not feeling tight, not stripped of any oils. Another Caudalie cleanser that I've often used is their Vino Pure Purifying Gel Cleanser. I use that all of the time as well. That is what I generally use at night if I'm not going to use the foaming cleanser. So the foaming cleanser for me, I more so use it mainly in the summer because my skin is a lot more oily during the summer but during the winter, it's not as oily, and so as a result, I tend to use their purifying gel cleanser. And I really like this because again, not stripping the skin, very gentle when you use it, but it still gets your skin nice and clean. Now in the mornings, I actually use Caudalie's Almond Milk Cleanser, and Caudalie's Almond Milk Cleanser, you all, it is so nice. I have read many people who say like you shouldn't cleanse your face in the morning. I actually don't agree with that, but you don't wanna strip your face, right? Like you're not looking to, again, suck all the moisture and the life out of your face. So for that reason, I really like to use their Almond Milk Milk cleanser it's very soft it's very gentle if you have sensitive skin like this is going to be the product for you you're really really going to like it because it's really going to get your skin clean but it's not going to irritate it it's very very gentle and if you have dry skin it's another reason this is another product that would be probably really great for you and then one last thing is just a scrub that I use they have this buffing cream scrub I really like to use that actually at night after I've cleansed. I will sometimes go in there just once or twice a week and just do a gentle little buff. Nothing intense, it's a gentle exfoliation. So if you're looking for a way to gently exfoliate your skin and something that isn't going to be just too much, you're gonna find that with the Caudalie products. Okay, so next up, let's talk about toners. So one of the toners that they have that I use all the time is their Vino Perfect Brightening Glycolic Essence. I use this toner in the mornings and I really like it because it is an exfoliator. Glycolic acid is an exfoliating product and one of the things that I have been doing over the years was I have always been looking for like what is the right exfoliating product for my particular skin. So before, when I was younger, I thought, oh, I need to use salicylic acid because that'll help me with acne. But really for my skin type, what is right is glycolic acid. And the thing is glycolic acid is a very gentle, you know, skin exfoliator. So it's not really going to irritate your skin. One thing I would advise is that you don't use their glycolic acid serum, toner serum, both in the morning and at night. I think it's a bit much for the skin. And in fact, this is what the saleswoman recommended to me. She was like, mm, I would only use it in the morning or at night, I wouldn't do both. So I actually use it in the morning. So I use Caudalie's Vino Clean Moisturizing Toner. I really like this toner because it kind of adds, you know, that water element back to the skin after you've cleansed it really. And it also helps just with making sure you've kind of fully gotten everything off your skin. So I actually use their moisturizing toner at night. And then I also use it in the morning. And then after I use it, I follow it with their glycolic acid serum and toner. I have also though used their Vino Pure Toner and for me, that was just a bit too much. The thing about the Vino Pure Toner is that that is definitely more if you have, you know, acne problems and whatnot. So I think it's more suited to 
oily skin or oily combination skin. Whereas I think the moisturizing toner is really great for all skin types. And pr that's why I kind of ended up switching ultimately to sticking with their moisturizing toner. Now they also have quite a few sprays. They have their Beauty Elixir Spray. That to me is just like, I love to do a nice like misting watery spray on my face after I have already applied my serum. And so I think that is a really great kind of mist spray for your face to apply, you know, after your serum. One of the thing with Caudalie products and with particularly this like beauty elixir spray is that it does have a scent to it. Just know if you're someone who's very sensitive to scents, I doubt that this will bother you. I doubt that this will irritate you because it's a such a soft and subtle scent. Personally, I can be very sensitive in particular to scents, but I don't find any of the, the scent in this beauty elixir to be overwhelming. I also have tried their grape essence water. Again, this is another mist, kind of an, another spray to spray on your face just to add moisture after you've applied your serum or maybe before you apply your serum. It's quite nice and I have nothing, you know, bad to say about it it's it's a it's a good spray so next up let's talk about Caudalie's Vino Perfect Brightening Dark Spot Serum this serum literally changed my face it completely 100% revolutionized revolutionized my skin and frankly all of these Caudalie products I will say actually really did turn around my skin and really just made my skin start to glow in a way that it had not done before when I was using other products. So this serum is very well known. It's talked about a lot of people, you know, have probably done reviews on it and videos and whatnot. When I tell you that the serum works, this serum works y'all. This serum definitely 100% will soften and get rid of your dark spots. It is 100%, it makes your skin glow. When I started using the serum, every single day I was getting compliments from people like, oh my gosh, your skin is glowing. People would stop me on the street and be like, oh my gosh, ma'am, your skin is glowing. You look you look gorgeous. You look, what do you use on your skin? I was like, thank you, it's Godalie. Uh, <laughs> I, I wish I had a before picture and an after picture, but I just like started using, you know, I just kind of like just started using it. So I didn't, you know. <laughs> I didn't expect a skincare transformation. Frankly, I, I'm no longer using it only because I like to change my skincare every five years as I age. I think it's really important to do that. So I have kind of grown up from that, for lack of a better word. But that does not mean that every now and then I will still buy it and be like, I'm going back to my basics because I just absolutely love this serum. Another serum and frankly product line that I do want to kind of pay homage to is their Res Reservatol, Reservatol line that they have recently created. It's probably relatively new. This is a line for more mature skin and one of the products that they have as part of this line is a retinol alternative. Now I personally do not use this line but I introduced the Caudalie products to my mother and she started using this line and she actually replaced her Clarins with the Caudalie line which I found to be a huge shocker. Definitely I know it's a little bit and a lot bit more expensive in the US than it is in France but but it is 100% worth it. So next up is their moisturizer. So I have tried three moisturizers and there are basically two that I've continued to really, really stick with. So one of the first ones is their Hy Vino Hydra Deep Moisturizing Gel and Cream. I absolutely love this product. It is great for all skin types. Only, I think only if you have super oily skin would you probably not want to use it, but anyone else, you, you will want to use th this, this moisturizer. It is a beautiful moisturizer. It absorbs into the skin so 
well. I mean, you can feel it like really soaking into your skin and you just notice it and you can feel it. You feel how different your skin feels when you put it on. Now, the thing is, as I noted, I said that using their deep moisturizer is probably maybe a little too much if you have really oily skin. Just so you know, they also have it available in a gel format that I have also used. And I actually use the gel format during the summer and I use the creamer format, the deeper deep cream format, that the, the heavier one during the fall and the winter. Now, I also have tried their Vino Hydra Sorbet, and I actually started using that originally. That's what I used before I developed, discovered their Vino Hydra Moisturizing Cream. And the Sorbet is quite nice. It's quite lovely. It's really a gentle product that really absorbs into your skin really well. So I have like nothing badly to say about that. I just think that for me at least, and for my skin, I really like that, that Vino Hydra cream more. So another product they also have as far as a moisturizer that I've tried is their Vino, Vino Pure mattifying fluid. Now I used to use this when I first started using Caudalie and the thing is what I found for me is that it was actually a little bit too, it was too drying for my skin. I, I, it, it just, it wasn't really that compatible with my skin. It was a little too dry. Now, now, now I'm not saying, you know, it didn't make my face feel like all of the, you know, moisture had been sucked out of it. No, that's not what I mean. I mean that because of the little bit of salicylic acid in it, I just, my skin just doesn't really like that. It makes my skin feel very tight. And so it just, it just didn't work that well for me. Okay, next up, let's talk about their eye and lip stuff. So I actually have not really tried any of the Caudalie eye products, so I can't really, you know, tell you too much about them. But what I can say is I've gotten samples of their firming eye gel. I haven't, like, use it enough or long enough to really be able to know or tell if it like is going to produce a difference. I think that eye serums for me, eye gels, I'm very particular. Like I want to see results in like two weeks. And if you don't give me those results, then it's like, and the problem is the samples I've been receiving thus far are so tiny that they don't, they don't get you through two weeks. They get you through like, <laughs> you know, like three days and then it's done. So as a result, I really haven't had a chance to try that. So I can't really, you know, kind of give you any sort of advice or guidance on it right now. I would also note that when it comes to like their lip products, I have used their original like lip, you know, chapstick, whatever that is. Um, before for me it did nothing for my lips like it didn't like really moisturize them i believe they have like a new product a new lip conditioner maybe that's different but because the last stuff didn't work i haven't like experimented with anything anything more than that i also want to talk about Caudalie sunscreen so Caudalie sunscreen used to be sold in the u.s so i used to be able to get it at the Caudalie store and then all of a sudden it was no it couldn't be sold in the u.s because apparently like a lot of European sunscreens and sunscreens from Asia and whatnot can't be sold in the U.S. because of the way that they are formulated. They have an ingredient in them that has not been approved in the U.S. And yet most U.S. sunscreen has these chemicals that are known to cause reproductive issues. So somebody make it make sense, right? <laughs> you know, like the, the new stuff is actually better for you, provides better protection, but yet they can't really, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't get it. But anyway, the Caudalie sunscreen, it's called Vino Sun. I use their SPF 50. I like it, I absolutely love it. I, it's not, I will note, it is not my primary sunscreen. I actually have a different sunscreen that I use that I prefer. One thing I will note is that I found with their prior formulation, it was a little greasy on my skin. Like it, it, it made my skin feel a bit greasy and oily. And so that's really why I stopped using it. However, I know that they have like updated that formulation. So, you know, I don't know if that's something that is, is different now, but if you're looking for a nice sunscreen, it might be good to try and see, you know, get, maybe get a sample if you can and see if it works for you. Okay, next up are their masks. So let's talk about the masks because the masks are another Caudalie product that I found has gone very viral in recent years. And I really do like their mask and I just wanna let you know whether or not they are in fact worth worth the hype. So one of the masks that went viral, viral you know, the past year is their Vino Pure Purifying Mask. 
absolutely love that mask. I think that mask is great. It is super great at like, you put it over your skin. The thing about it is it gets super tight. Like it just like, it gets so, so tight and you can't move your face or anything. And then you, it takes kind of, it's kind of a bear to get it all off and wash it off. But you definitely see it pulls out like the gross, disgusting stuff that's in your pores. And you definitely will see that your pores are smaller. Another one that I use that I, I might actually prefer a little bit more is their Aveeno Clean Pore Minimizing Instant Do Detox. So I actually have that one in my cabinet right now as well. And you definitely see like that minimizing of pores. So the last Caudalie mask that I really wanna talk about is their Aveeno Hydra Moisturizing Mask. I really like that mask as well. I think that if you have dry skin, you are really, really going to like that mask. I think if you have drier skin and you want to use the pore minimizing mask, or you want to use that purifying mask, I think what you risk is that at the end of it, your skin is going to feel super dry. So you might actually find it helpful to follow with a hydrating mask, right? And put that on so that your skin is kind of moisturized again after cleansing, you know, out the, 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 gunk that's in your pores. So let's just run down, last but not least, some of their Caudalie body products, and I'll just tell you which ones have been hit for me or miss. So their deodorant, their Vino Fresh deodorant, it did not keep me fresh at all. <laughs> at all so not sold on the deodorant didn't haven't repurchased that as far as their lotion particularly the their vino therapist lotion i have used it before i actually have one in the apartment right now it's nice but for me at least it doesn't I, it's not moisturizing enough for my my body i really need like a really thick creamy lotion um particularly in the winter and it just is it doesn't hit the spot for me. Next up, their shower gel, their Rose Devine shower gel. I have used that before. I like it. I have, you know, nothing bad to say about it. Just for me, I think it's a little bit expensive and so I end up just buying something else that's a little bit cheaper um, that I that I that I like. Last but not least, their hand and foot cream. So their Vino Therapist foot cream, I love that stuff. That stuff is so moisturizing for your feet. I absolutely love it. I'm sold on it. I'm chef's kiss. So I use that stuff all of the time. However, I have yet to try their dark spot hand cream and I really want to because I feel like the dark spot hand cream, so it has to like do wonders, right? The thing about Caudalie products that I love is that they do what they say they're going to do, right? Like, it's not, I've generally found there are not a lot of false promises in this brand. And the downside, if you're in the US, is it expensive? Yes, 100%, I definitely think it's expensive. But other than that, is the product consistent? Are you going to enjoy the products? Are they going to do what they say they do? Is it worth the hype? Yes, and there you have it. I hope you have enjoyed this video on all of the Caudalie products that I have tried. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Take care, stay safe, and talk to you again soon. Bye.